Democrats will have two years to dissect the party's shortcomings following Tuesday's election and focus on winning back voters who handed Republicans the White House, the Senate, and potentially the House of Representatives. Some say it starts with what the party was focusing on. Women's issues, but it played less a role, and you felt it out there in immigration. And quite frankly, I think the economy and immigration were the two issues that people were intense and emotional on. Look, I, I think I'm one of those people that's been saying all day, Democrats have got to do some very serious soul searching. And there's some really complicated problems here. Progressive Senator Bernie Sanders posted on X, it's no great surprise that a Democratic Party which has abandoned working class people would find that the working class has abandoned them. While not every Democrat agrees with that statement, there is a growing belief that singling out Donald Trump and not day-to-day -day problems of Americans led to a losing strategy. I think where we need to go, uh, candidly, is to, to, to focus less about every one of his legal issues and all of the things about Donald Trump and focus more on the American people. Uh, go to these communities that we've lost, listen to them, uh, try to understand why they're angry, why they're frustrated. Former Virginia Democratic Congressman Jim Moran, who served in Congress for 24 years, says today's Democratic Party is just not meeting the American people where they're at. We marched too far to the left and fell off the cliff. They need to look inward. Uh, you know, who, uh, who are you really speaking to? Who's your audience? Because it was clear Tuesday that their audience is not representative of the majority of the American population. Plenty of Democratic factions will now likely do their own autopsies, looking at what went wrong and what potentially needs to change heading into a second Donald Trump presidency. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.